today's focus is sterling. Uh, sterling and the UK is moving into a very interesting period. As of July 1st, we'll have a new uh, Bank of England governor, Mark Carney, formerly of the Bank of Canada. Carney is known as someone who is very proactive and aggressively pursuing a monetary easing policy. Uh, so what we expect to happen over the course of the summer and even potentially this week, uh, which include the UK budget, is some talk of changing of the remit, i.e. the plan, the targets by which Bank of England has operated. Note that they right now have an inflation targeting of 2%. But the last time they actually were at 2% is more than seven years ago. So talk about having a target that is never met. Uh, of course, that in itself leads to the conclusion that either it needs to be changed or the overall policy will change. We expect to see some fireworks in terms of this remit uh, and know that this comes from the Treasury in the UK. And last time it was changed is in 1997. So in terms of sterling and the macro and the outlook for the UK economy, it is a big week uh, uh, in all the circumstances. Furthermore, it is very clear the UK economy is having zero traction in terms of growing. And if you think about it, it's not that unnatural because the growth sector since 2000 in the UK has been banking and uh, public sector. Right now the government is instituting uh, austerity on the public sector and of course banks, as we all know, are uh, under some sort of pressure to both scale down the levers but also scale down the number of people employed and that leads to the third growth sector which has been services. Imagine how much less hairdressing and yoga and uh, the like services that will be provided if the banking sector shrinks by another 25%. So the UK economy has sort of uh, stopped being a manufacturing base and become a service industry. Uh, that is good in good times, but in terms of headwinds and actually creating productivity, which is, for an economist like me, at the end of the day, the only differentiator between economies remains that the ability to innovate and produce more. So what that leaves us in terms of sterling is that we have a range of 148, 152. We are now at the top end of the range uh, based on some sort of uh, flight to quality uh, move uh, as Cyprus becomes the headlines, but we think over the course of the summer, uh, the Bank of England and the UK will be sanctioned to pursue a policy of easier monetary policy as the safe, a cheap way to, to, to create uh, another re re resurgence of the US, UK economy. Of course, at the end of the day, it doesn't change anything because everyone else is also engaged in the same game. But in terms of the currency outlook, we certainly look for sterling to weaken over the course of the summer. And, and we see it all the way down at 125, 130 at, at the end of the year. I wish you good luck.